something from this mountain literally just yelled at us. Oh! <gasps> you heard that too? You heard it too? Sergeants, welcome back to another camping adventure. Today I am in the Superstition Mountains. That's what they're called here in Arizona. Now there's a big story about these mountains and a real story too. A German guy that came from Germany one time, a long time ago, he came here and he found some gold, but he never told anybody where that gold was, where he got it from, and where the mine is, because he found a mine apparently. So this guy ended up like dying, and then before he died, he told some lady the location of the gold which is unconfirmed. And then till this day, nobody has found the gold that he was like finding out in this mountain. And the mountains are super haunted because of the native warriors that used to inhabit this area. Apparently the native warriors don't like it when people come here trying to look for gold and people go missing, they die. And that's the, uh, that's the story about this place. It's a really freaking terrifying place. There's a cave up there that we're trying to get to and a waterfall. And I kind of want to like uh, make a campsite up there tonight. Also, it is really hot. There are mountain lions here. There are wild pigs that can kill us. There are rattlesnakes, different types of freaking scorpions. There's so much out here that can hurt us or injure us. So please smash the like button. Halloween's around the corner. Get yourself some of my Halloween merch. The links are down below. Bye, Angelo. Bye. See you later. All right, the adventure begins. This is gonna be freaking crazy. I only have one bottle of ice water with me. I'm gonna ration that obviously because you just never know. Anyways, there is a waterfall up there somewhere, which I'm not sure if there's even any water in it because everything just looks very, very dry out here. Yeah, if you're ever doing a hiking video like this, especially if you're in the desert, definitely bring water and bring a knife or something. All I have is like an ax, just in case, you never know. But I'm almost at the base of the mountain and I think I see a cave way up there. So I think that's the cave that I'm looking for. Supposedly it's called the wave cave because apparently it looks like a, a wave like from the ocean on the inside of it. It's weird. And apparently if you have the intentions of searching for gold out here, the native warriors that haunt these lands, the skinwalkers, they don't like that. And then apparently they make you disappear. So let's see, I, don't, I mean, I don't have the intention of looking for gold, but if I find some gold, I'm gonna share it with you guys, that's for sure. That's if the native warriors allow me to leave. That's why they call it Superstition Mountain. There's a lot of stories that come right out of this mountain right here. So the German guy that died after he found the gold, he didn't die in the mountains searching for the gold. He actually found the gold, took some gold, and apparently he was like the only one that had the location of more gold on the mountain and when he died of i think natural causes he was like on his deathbed in the hospital he whispered to a woman and her name was julia thomas i think i got this information from online by the way he whispered to her where the location of the gold is and then he died which is pretty crazy so that's where the story of the dutchman's gold came from he's not dutch but for some reason they called him the dutchman Okay, so I've made it to the end of the trail, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Um, there's a barbed wire fence, probably through that. Or maybe here to the left. I think it might be here to the left. Yeah, this is probably, yeah, I see the cave is way up there. Up in that mountain, holy moly. I've got a lot of traveling to do. Keep hearing some weird noises in the bushes. Not the birds, but something different. I can't make out what it is. It's freaking me out, to be honest. Now that's just one of those birds. But what I heard was something different. Well, I made it to a gate. I'm like pretty much at the base of the mountain. And this gate says, this gate should remain closed. If found open, please close gate. Arizona game. Damn, that means there's some wild ass animals in here. Oh, all right, let's go. Oh man, 
I'm not tired or thirsty yet. I haven't even drank my water yet. I don't plan to until I actually make it up there. But I'm trying to figure out because there's a lot of barbed wire here. So I'm guessing this trail somehow curves and then goes up the mountain. I hope at least. My worry and concern is that I'm going the wrong way. Even though the GPS has shown that I'm going the right way. So hopefully it's true. And I find it pretty insane that I have um, internet right here, which is crazy. Wow. Take a look at this view. I can't even see the parking lot from here. Like, I don't even know where the hell that is. <sighs> like, I can't even see where our car was, where Angelo went. I have no idea. Okay, so the GPS tricked me. I, it brought me all the way here, and it's like, oh, you've arrived. And I need to get down there, or up there. So I gotta find a different way now. God dang, I've been walking forever. <sighs> That's why you can't always trust a foot GPS. But I mean, once I get around this and I find a trail going upwards, I think I'll be good. All right, it's been like half an hour since that last clip. I think I found the right trail. I was this close to giving up. Came down with a weird stomach bug. And I may have used a bush as a bathroom. That's not good because that could attract wild animals. So, I'm feeling a little bit better. I think I'm getting dehydrated to be honest. I haven't drank any of my water yet. Whew. I'm trying to conserve it. So I see the cave up in that corner. I think it's it. I found this other path that I'm gonna take. Hopefully it gets me there. Haven't seen any rattlesnakes yet, but I've heard some weird shit in the bushes, which has totally freaked me out. But, the adventure must go on. Also, I got like 50 pounds of gear in my backpack. So I hope you guys smash that like button. Just do me this one solid favor, guys. Lately, people haven't been really smashing that like button. So smash the hell out of that like button. Taking my first break of the day. I'll get there. <laughs> I have a bit of a problem. There's a, a fork in the road. There's a left here and then there's a right there. Not sure which way to go. I think I might go right because it goes up more. But the cave is behind this little this little piece here. It's on the opposite side. Ah, gonna have my first drink of water and I don't have much to be honest. Damn, I lost a lot of water. As I said, I have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> wow. That is heaven. So I am this close to giving up. And you guys know me, I'm not one to give up. But I only have a little bit left. I could always try to get water from a cactus. I've always wanted to do that. We'll see. So I sat there for a good 20 minutes contemplating if I should continue going up. I think I'm gonna actually not do this one. Don't feel right today. I think the heat got to me and uh, yeah, I think I shall attempt this one another day. Well, I survived the mountain, but Angelo's not here. <laughs> Where the hell did this guy leave? He just like left me here. Like he's literally not here. I don't know where he is. I thought he was gonna be filming in this area. And now I'm completely solo and waterless. Yeah, I'm kind of at, <sighs> Kind of at a loss of words right now. I got no ride. But I was looking over there. I have like no energy to talk. Way down there, it looks like there's like a either a house or a shelter. And that could be the lost gold mine trailhead. There could be some type of shelter. Who knows? Maybe there's like a water source there. So let's go in. Let's go and see. Oh man. So there's, I've been seeing a lot of fresh poop, by the way, on the trail. Don't know if it's wild boars or mountain lion poop. What is that? I thought that rock was like a freaking bottle of water. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if, <laughs> this is crazy. Well, it could be worse, it could be snow. 
Could be snow, right? Could be much, much worse. I don't know if there's gonna be a water source up there, but let's hope there is. There's like a, looks like a, it's not a house. It looks like a shelter of some sort. At least some shade and a place to sit in. I gotta say though, even though I'm dehydrated, pretty tired, I'm enjoying this. Like this is, this is an, a once in a lifetime experience to walk around in the middle of nowhere so quiet you don't hear any cars no noises from anything electric it's just peace and quiet and nature it's so quiet just hear birds so far all i've heard is birds nothing else haven't seen any snakes scorpions Lizards, cows, nothing but birds and poop. I mean, I'm kind of happy that there's not nothing that can hurt me, but I want to see a damn rattlesnake. I want to grab one. That's like my dream. I think I hear a vehicle. I thought I heard a vehicle. I actually thought I heard a car. God damn it. So that... Um, tourist thing I thought I saw was not what it is. I think it's a private camp or a house or something. Look at him. He just pulling out of some random parking lot. I need water. I need water. Sorry, I drank it all. There's no yeah. water left. I would literally kill for water right now. I didn't make it to the cave. I got up trail. Mm -hmm. My stomach started hurting me. I got diarrhea. Really bad, yeah, thanks from the heat. <laughs> I uh, had to go to the bathroom in a bush somewhere. Okay. Felt like I belonged in Brampton for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. Been there, been there. And I couldn't make it up the hill. This is the first time most Archie gives up on a mission. But it is what it is, I need water. All right, me and Angelo have linked up. Even though I'm tired and dehydrated, I had some water, thank God. Um, we're, we're finding this other trail now. Yeah, yeah. At least it's shady on this side. Yeah, the other side, dude, I was getting roasted. <laughs> Literally. But well, we're trying to find the Dutchman Trail right now. Maybe I can save this video. Originally, I said I give, I'd give, given up. But I think I'm just going to keep going and keep pushing. Dude, this trail is closed. Which one is this one? Oh, that's the Bluff, that's the Bluff Springs one. That's where we're supposed to go down. Yeah. Do not enter. But why? And what is that yellow thing? What yellow thing? You don't see that? Oh yeah, there's it's something. Not, it's not a rock. No, it's like really bright. Let's go check it out. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it says it's closed, but whatever. I mean, there's just a piece of whatever. Took the easy route, did you? Yeah. I wonder why it's really like that. Looks like an envelope. Yeah. So random. Yeah, that's just so random. I wonder if there's anything else over here to indicate why this trail is closed. Oh, what the hell? It's like a really old picture of a building. That looks German. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like a statue of some sort. He is here. You must go. What? Look at the U. It's spelled with two boobies. I know. I know. It's got boobies I on it. I found something else Let me with see that. that. Too. I got a different trail. That's the reason why I came here. This is so weird. <sighs> so nice. This statue is like interesting. It's like a dog on top of a tree. Um. A map? Is that a map of the United States? Looks like it. I wonder if someone just left a map for us, like, just random people, if anyone needs a map, right? Right. Damn, I haven't seen a map like this in so long. Right? It's like exactly what I'm thinking. A little bit ripped. Yeah. 
It looks really old. I don't see anything specific. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just someone dropped it or... But why would it be in like a yellow envelope? I don't know. Something weird is going on. Oh, there's like two markings on it. Look. Two blue markings? Yeah, I know. I see that. Wait, what the fuck? What? That one says... I'm pretty sure that's Brampton. Brampton? Yeah. That's where you're from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> weird. Why would somebody... <laughs> Wait. Why would Brampton be mapped off? Tell me there's other ones. There's only two, I think. Yeah. But the other one's Ottawa. What the hell? Right? That's where I'm from. <laughs> what the fuck is Why is Brampton and Ottawa marked on a random map we just found on the trail? Dude, we're in the middle of Arizona right now. Yeah. We're like 30 something hours away from home. Okay, that's fucking weird. <laughs> this is not CGI. This is real. This no, is not this green is screen. This is definitely very real. This is literally not uh, green screen. What, what the hell? The actual fuck is this? He's from Brampton. I'm from Ottawa. Right. That's <laughs> kind of my point why that's weird, right? And it's like. Dude, what if you, there's like a stalker here? That's what I'm saying. This is why I don't use this fucking app anymore. It's oh, you're doing Renanautica? Yeah. I didn't even know you were doing Renanautica. I thought you were just hiking. No. Oh. Dude, this is like, okay, now you get it, right? Yeah, now I get it. Now okay. I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing out here? So he's doing Renanautica. I just came out here to hike and go to a cave. Right. But I'm like, all right, let me join him now since I couldn't find my cave. Yeah, I wasn't sure like what I was going to do. And then you're like, oh, I want to go to the cool cave. So I'm like, all right, well, I've done that before. I don't want to. Go up that steep so now we jumped into a randonautica adventure great <laughs> but ottawa and brampton like what the heck is like the odd of that like yeah that, that's creepy yeah 100 percent. well this looks like it's going to be our camping site for the night guys look at this we have all this to ourselves some flat ground to set up our tents and we're going to have this as a backdrop the only thing that's concerning is that map of Ottawa and Brampton that we found on that trail. Doesn't make any sense. So do we have a stalker? We might have a stalker. I mean, we did post that we're gonna be out here. We might have a hater. You know what? We did post on Instagram that we're gonna be out here. So we might have like a hater or a oh. stalker, right? Well, shit. Yeah, whatever, man, let's set up camp and then uh, enjoy the rest of the evening and see what happens. Now this is considered haunted a haunted mountain. So the warriors of the Apache tribe apparently used to inhabit this area and they've died here obviously and they've lived here for so long. And apparently they make people disappear. They don't want them here. If you have the intention of coming here for gold or ill intentions, they make you disappear. Like they found bodies dead here. Back at the other parking lot, they, they had a box where you have to write your name number in case you go on the trails and you go missing. Like it's a real thing. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about this. Dutchman and basically all the crazy stuff that happens out here. So the legend of the lost Dutchman's gold mine is intertwined with stories of a curse. Apparently there's a curse here. Many treasure hunters have ventured into the Superstition Mountains, which is what these are actually called, the Superstition Mountains, and uh, in search of the mine. There's a lost mine. They even have a trail here called the Lost Gold Mine Trail. No one's ever been able to find the mine, which is absolutely insane. Anytime anyone's ever tried to find the gold or the lost mine, they've been met with nothing but misery or misfortune. Some people have disappeared without a trace searching for this gold, while others were found dead in mysterious circumstances. So there could be somebody up there killing people trying to find this gold, or it could be some animals, or it could be some of the spirits that are actually lingering in these mountains, like the Apache warriors. So this has actually led to speculation. Um, people believe that the mine is actually protected by supernatural powers. In the early 20th century, two men were reportedly found decapitated near the supposed site of the mine. So they don't know where it is, but supposedly in the area, they found two guys decapitated, like actually no heads. That's crazy. In 1945, a man named James A. Cravey went searching for the mine and was later found dead, his body and gear scattered across the desert. Even as recently as the 1970s and beyond, treasure hunters have gone missing or died under strange circumstances, fueling the belief that the mine is cursed. I definitely believe it's cursed. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Before the European settlers arrived, Native American tribes, including the Apache, believed that the superstition mountains were sacred and that there were spirits or gods that dwelled within some versions of the dutchman's legend state that the mine is located in a forbidden area protected by these spirits that actually makes a lot of sense 
The Apaches believed that anyone who disturbed the sacred grounds would face their wrath. This belief in spiritual protection may be one explanation for why the mine has supposedly never been found. Like, I believe in things like that. I really do. There are forces that we don't know a lot about. And there's things that we know nothing about. And this could be one of those nothing. So no one's ever found... Um, the Lost Dutchman's Mine. Some have claimed to discover clues such as old markers, mysterious stone maps, or even remnants of mining operations, but no confirmed gold ore has been, or ore has been produced. This has only deepened the mystery, attracting treasure hunters and adventurers from all over the world. So obviously I'm not here to treasure hunt, so I'm not gonna be disrespecting the spirits of this place, but you know, maybe in the future, it might be cool to do like some type of mission where we actually hike up, up the mountain right above it and like try to do it um, but we'd actually have to come with like a professional hiker and some gear and lots of food and stuff um today we're just a bunch of dumb dumb youtubers trying to make a video out here so we're not really professionals at this at the moment guys the uh sun is starting to get darker or trying to go down now the sun is setting is what i'm trying to say but look at this on top of the mountain it looks like there's a guy up there oh the fuck was that? That came from down there. That was really loud. Oh, yo, I thought I just heard something over here. Hello? That's just a bird. That's a weird sounding bird. Hello? We come in peace. <gasps> what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? That sounded like a person, but that came from the mountain. Shut up, you stupid bird. Wait, what if that bird is like... A spirit. Yeah, it could be. Oh my god. Guys, we just heard someone. We heard a loud bang coming from that way. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the voice, someone's voice. I know, I heard that. Like, clear as day. I'm gonna do a replay on that for you guys. <gasps> I don't know. It's almost like something moved over there. Scared the shit out of me. No car came to me, so that doesn't make sense. Nah. It ain't no car. No. I got my eye on this mountain. Dude, we had we had someone screamer say something from the mountain. Now keep in mind this this mountain is sacred, right? What if that was a spirit? Oh my god. The Apache spirits? Bro! Yeah. What if the noises we heard was the Apache spirits? I mean it very well could be. They're mad because we're here. Yeah, maybe that was like a warning. Maybe that was a warning. Yeah. I mean, it does say no camping here for a reason, right? Like, look at the sign here. It says no camping. Superstition wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. It says no camping right there. I mean, we're still camping. I don't care, but... I want to document this. Like, there's something literally just, like, yelled at us from the mountain. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty freaked out. Like, like, it was cool, but I'm... I'm, like, shook. It's weird. Like, the vibration, like, I'm, I'm shook. The fact that we... There was something loud that occurred over here in this area. And then... I don't think there's, like, a person up there. I think it's spiritual. But originally, I thought there was a man up there. There's a bush that literally looks like a man at the top. Um, I thought yeah, that, I right? It kind of looks like a man yeah, kinda. or someone. Man, there could be shapeshifters up there right now, like skinwalker stuff. Well, you got our attention, that's for sure. And the fact that like I just read, like a little while ago, like I just read the story about what happens to people here, like people being decapitated. So that's in my mind now. And the fact that we heard someone like, yelling from the mountain like the mountain literally just yelled at us like that's crazy what's it saying uh, weird stuff i will be gone householding leave her are you skinwalkers 
you're not supposed to say the word. It's flesh runners. Are you Apache? Is the land cursed? Hot Did you say hot dog? Haunt them. Haunt them. Yeah. Who's haunted us, sir? That, that was like an instruction. Yeah. Yeah. Like haunt them. Are you gonna haunt us? Is this mountain haunted? Is it just me, or is that a face of like a an Apache chief on the mountain? I know it's hard to see it now, but I took a couple of photos. Let me show you. Like the, yeah, like, like look the at chief. that. That looks like a chief's yeah, face. Like, like a Native Indian chief's face. Right? We've been taking night shots of it, and it definitely looks... Uh, what the hell? I can hear an owl, too. Yeah. Owls are very spiritual, by the way. Did you just hit something? No, I heard that, though. Something made a noise. Yeah. Alright, as you guys can see, it's getting much, much darker now. Here... I'm hearing something very strange coming from the mountain now. Too bad we can't go up there. <sighs> Hello? Are there any Apache warriors that want to appear on camera? I wonder if this goes anywhere. Oh. I heard something. Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? I don't know. Hey, I know you're out here. We don't want to cause any trouble for you. We know you're protecting your land. And we come in peace. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that sounded like something just screamed at me. Oh my god. 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 I told you I'd come in peace. Is that talking? I heard like a thump. And talking too, but hmm? I heard like a thump or something. Okay. Yo, what a terrifying place. Like real talk. I want to know what it is that screamed at me from the mountain though. Guaranteed. Apache warrior spirit, like 100%.
thing. It sounds like someone. It literally sounds like an Apache, like a native, you know, tribes person, doing his calling. What the fuck? Keep in mind, there's no one else here. Dude, there's a possibility, and, a, and like it's a hundred percent a possibility that we're capturing s native spirits. AKA skinwalkers. Oh my god, this is crazy. At first, it was coming from the mountain, and then it's coming beside the mountain. Has it? Hold on, let's listen. I think so. Definitely stopped. What? Look over there. There's a light in the bush. Oh, there is a light. In yeah, the bush. it disappeared. What the hell? It, it came and it went. Yeah, I think it. Oh, there's one. What is that? I don't know. Huh. Okay. That is freaking weird, bro. We're just sitting and listening now. This is a crazy video. Like we're capturing a type of paranormal that nobody ever captures. Like ancient, ancient paranormal, ancient spirits. I feel like the later it gets, the more intense this is gonna get. Like the thing is with these investigations, like we try to debunk all the noises that we're hearing. You know what I mean? Like you can explain like, oh, I was a little kid with a whistle, but it definitely wasn't. Like why would a little kid with a whistle be out here? And it all happened at the exact same time as I heard something screaming at me from the mountain. And then Angela had something over there. And then all of a sudden we started to hear some ancient, like literally ancient flute. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah. Like somebody's blowing through a little flute. In no way is this video like planned or scripted or any of that bullshit. Like this is real paranormal that we're getting here, which is absolutely insane and I love it. Looks like we have a freaking amazing full moon out. That's crazy. Look at that, you guys. It's coming up above the mountain there. What do you say we actually like, because I found a trail. What do you say we go near the mountain, like as close as we can? We could. I think, I think that might piss off some spirits or maybe they might actually communicate with us. Let's go over there. I just woke up from a nap. Angelo went for a walk and he was like, he was hearing some weird noises and experiencing some weird things. So I'm like, hey, why don't we walk up to the mountain like directly right against the mountain and see if we can experience anything paranormal this could there? potentially be the dumbest idea we've ever had. Probably. Like if the spirits here actually don't want us to be here, they'll let us know as soon as we get close to that mountain. I'm pretty concerned about like, Oh yeah, I mean if we encounter anything hostile just blind them with the flashlights like these things will stop Oh, trust me. They'll be blinded. I caught a snake doing that one time. I just blinded it with a flashlight I'm not sure if it works on rattlesnakes, but I'm, I'm sure they they're all the same Looks like it loops around it might actually take us right to the mountain What'd you see? I noticed there's a rock here with a bunch of rocks on top of each other. It's like someone's putting rocks on, on top of each other. I don't know why. Oh, we got poop over here. That's a bad sign. Yeah, we're good. We have a nice clean trail. And I'm pretty sure it goes straight to the mountain. Because we're literally almost there. Whoa, that is so creepy. Look at this cactus. What the hell happened in this thing? It's massive, oh my god. All right, sorry about the camera movement, but I'm using the light from the camera to look to the ground and make sure there's no rattlesnakes. Like, yeah, I joke a lot, but these things are out here. 
Never seen one, but they are here. Why are you running? Something in the bush. I think I just found some ancient native um, drawings on the rocks over there. Yeah, like actually. Which bush? Take me to it. I shall. What? Take me to it. All right, just in case. Where? Like down there. Up the trail? Yeah, like right about there. Over where? Here? Yep. Yeah, I don't think so. Something. Could be a mouse. Let's go up to those rocks because it looks like there's a, there's a drawing on them. Which rocks? Right in front of you, there's a giant boulder. No, it was a dead end. Yeah, I don't think there's a snake. What an interesting piece of rock. Uh, it looked like there were drawings from far away, but now there's nothing. Now there's nothing. From far away, they look like drawings. Well, this trail loops around. <gasps> Yo! There's a cave entrance. Are. No, bro. There's. Ooh, it's it's full of poop in there. Oh, so mountain lions. Something. What the hell is this? I think yeah. that's poop. Are you looking back here? Oh yeah, that's yeah. definitely uh, definitely shit. There, there's poop and there's a lot of these spiny things yeah. in there. Spiky things. It's so hot here. It's so creepy, it's like black in there. But there's no animals in there. You saw eyes? Look at this, guys. Something's definitely living here, part time. Yeah, there's nothing in there. But who stacked these rocks here like this? This is interesting. Oh, oh I just hit my back. Yeah, someone like stacked these rocks. What's impressive is that there's no graffiti. None whatsoever. But what the hell is that? What do you see? I don't know. It's like this goop. brown goop. Oh yeah. What the <laughs> hell? I don't know what that is. Man, this is like exploring on a different level. It's like another little cave here. I wonder what all this looks like in the daytime. This rock looks kind of sacred, not gonna lie. Like, it really does. I mean, this whole area technically was, but yeah, you can one. Yeah. The mountain is just right over here. It's pretty cool, though. Hey, we're not here to hunt gold or look for gold. We're here to look for Sasquatch. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I think there's more. Look, there's a part of this trail. Oh. Look, the trail keeps going. Oh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah, we're like right beside the the mountain. Oh yeah, there's a trail here. Definitely at the base. I don't think we can. I don't. I don't think we can get up any higher. I don't think so either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What the f was that? You heard that too? You heard it too? Oh. Oh. There's something out there. That was something in the mouth. I can like, can see anything, but... Oh, do you feel that? Yeah. Bro, it feels like the ground is shaking. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think we pissed off the spirits. I got too close to their mountain, I think. I swear to God, I did. Huh? 
telling them we're not searching for their gold. No, we're not, but I don't think they like me. Just watch her step. As I said that, he literally almost fell. Yeah. We've both come to agreement that because we've pissed off some ancient spirits, we're not gonna spend the night here. We're just gonna drive to our next location. It's a long, long ways away, but we're gonna do it. Smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We actually captured, I don't know what we captured. I don't know if there was a freaking naked man up at the top of that freaking mountain just screaming at us. I highly doubt it. There's no way in hell anyone's gonna be walking around with no flashlight. But that was completely absolutely, naked. huh? Completely naked? Yeah, well, without a flashlight too. Like, why would he be naked and why would he not have a flashlight? Well, he's, he's moon tanning. Moon tanning. Oh yeah, with all the, uh, all the bugs and the, the arachnids and everything. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the hell out of here and we're gonna drive. We have hours and hours of hours of driving. We're gonna head to our next location. So you guys are gonna have another crazy adventure coming your way. Love you guys, get yourself some merch. The link is gonna be down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel and my second channel, my daily vlog channel, youtube.com slash family. I'll see you guys on the next one.